what I'll do here is we will we'll simulate basically the classroom use case where a teacher can create a notebook uh, as an assignment, and then students in the class or like members of the DataCam Donate group, it's, it's a bit the same, can basically create a workspace from that uh, template, from that example notebook, and start working on it. So they can very easily, so basically teachers and leaders in DataCam Donate groups can very easily create workbooks for other, people's to, for other people to start from. <clears throat> so I'll show that real quick. And I actually, for the purpose of this, um, for this code along, I already created a new GitHub repository, which is called example assignments. And if we look at the contents of this workspace repository, we see it contains readme.md. That's, that's basically the, like this readme here, which is not necessary, but it also contains notebook.ipymd. So that's a notebook that I uploaded to this GitHub repository with an example assignment. Right? So like this is an example assignment. You can create a matplotlib plot, import matplotlib to pyplot as PLT. And if you're ready to share your results, basically invite me as an editor so that I can review your work. This is, this is only one way you can do this. It's a very versatile system, so you can decide how you use it. What is important though, is that the GitHub repository is available to the public. So it should be a publicly available GitHub repository um, that you're creating. So now what I will do is I will create a link, a URL, that if people visit that URL, it will create a workspace inside DataCamp Workspace that's containing the contents of this exact GitHub repository, right? So it's a bit involved right now and we're working on improving that, but basically you can construct this link yourself. Uh, this is um, a view of our workspace um, documentation uh, that's explaining how you can construct a link. So basically you can construct a link with an app uh, with a URL that's app.datacamp.com slash workspace slash new. Then the query parameter is stack equals GitHub. It's basically saying create a workspace from contents on GitHub. The editor equals to JupyterLab. This will uh, open up a Python workspace for, it will be uh, fixed this at some point because this is like a bit of a uh, bit of technical debt is what they call it in, in engineering terms. Something we'll still have to clean up. Then we say the tag is the default branch. So we want to um, have a default branch in here. Then the owner name, in my case, the repo owner is Philip SEH. That's the name of my GitHub profile, um, which is coincidentally also the name of my DataCamp profile. Then the GitHub repository key, that's the name of the, like the repository name is the name of my repository. In this case, that's example assignments. And then account type, account group, uh, account group ID, I'm going to skip. Um, and basically um, what this means is for the workspace, for the GitHub repository located at Philip SEH example assignments, you can create a link like this, right? So you can create adultdata.com slash workspace slash new, question mark, tag equals ampersand, editor equals ampersand, GitHub repository key equals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a pretty involved link. And um, I'm happy to hear about feedback on how we can make this simpler. This is like very much like a V0.5 implementation. But basically, if you click this link, which I will do right now, it will open up a new workspace. And it will automatically be populated with all of the contents of the GitHub repository, right? So this is the example assignment. So if we compare this with the GitHub repository, example assignments is an example assignment. This is an example assignment. So it basically contains all of that. If I want to make a change here, so say, for example, um, I want to turn this into a big party, you're awesome. And I'm going to say, I'm going to make some changes to the notebook, commit these changes. And if I basically click this link again now, if all goes well, a new workspace will have been created, but this time using the contents that I just updated. So it's super easy for you to update your template workbook, so to say, as a teacher. You can very easily distribute it because, for example, on your LMS or your, or your on, on your LMS, you can very easily just add a link and say, like, hey, to take assignment two of the week, just click on this link. It will launch you into a workspace. And if you're done with your work, basically share this with me at teacher at uh, biguniversity.edu. And that's like a way for <clears throat> teachers to very easily distribute work but also making sure that all the learners in their group, they all have the same setup. They all have the same packages installed. They don't have to worry about package installations. They don't have to worry about IDE installations. They don't have to worry about anything setup related, basically. You can just ensure it will launch them into a sandbox that is completely configured for them. The only thing they need is a browser. Get rid of all of the operational hassle, but you get, you can get them, you can, you get them to, you get them to do 
unique assignments that are specific to your use case, specific to the lectures you're teaching, specific to the material you're touching, specific to the problems you're trying to solve with your Datacamp Donate group, is basically a very easy way for you to bootstrap <clears throat> workspaces with unique content that is yours. So you're not tied only to the content that Datacamp uh, provides, not tied to the courses Datacamp provides, the Datacamp projects Datacamp provides. This is basically a very low fidelity, an easy way for you <clears throat> to make Datacamp your own. 